Welcome to St. Andrew's United Church in Truro. My name is Catherine Burris, and I will be leading our service this morning. This service celebrates the third Sunday in Advent with the lighting of the candle of joy. This morning is also our white gift service, at which we have the world premiere of a Christmas musical written especially for our Spirit Quest children and youth. Since this is a virtual service, Spirit Quest will not be physically collecting your gifts for those in need and placing them under our Christmas tree, but there is a box placed between the two front doors of the Duke Street entrance for your gifts. The box will still be there tomorrow from 8.30 until 12 if you missed the times last week. If you would like to give a check, please make it out to St. Andrews and it and gift cards can be placed in the mailbox at the King Street entrance. Anything you can give will be appreciated. Today we have a dedication from Garth and Trinky Coffin, which says, Garth and I wish to remember with love my mom, Willa Hooker, November 7th, 1912 to December 10th, 2004. She was a very special teacher to many and by example, gave us inspiration for living a giving life. What a wonderful person to be remembered on White Gear Sunday. I would also like to thank everyone participating in service today, whether behind the scenes or part of the scene. Thank you for sharing your gifts and for giving us joy. And now, on behalf of our Local Outreach and Global Concerns Committee, Craig Miller will be updating us on our Syrian family and how we can continue to support them. About five years ago, eight local United Churches formed a committee to sponsor refugees fleeing the civil war in Syria. Our first application for private sponsorship failed when the family returned to Syria, which disqualified them as refugees. We then entered into partnership with Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada to sponsor a family through the auspices of the United Church of Canada. The UCC had a young family on their list and we applied to be their sponsors. Funds were provided by the Trail United Churches and a grant from the Jewish Foundation of Greater Toronto, along with smaller donations from some local groups. The Al-Khalaf family consisted of parents Maria and Saleh and their five children, a boy Azam who was 10, Azah nine, Ola 6, Shamsa 3, and Naba 2. They had been living as refugees in Jordan for six years. They arrived in Truro on October 10, 2019 and settled into their new home on Main Street in Bible Hill. The children were enrolled in school and their parents started English language classes with a local tutor. Just a few months after their arrival, the pandemic interrupted their resettlement. School was cancelled and English classes stopped. Salah's attempts to find employment were stalled. Members of our committee could not meet directly with them. They were in a foreign country where they couldn't speak the language and their social contact was restricted. It was in effect a perfect storm. By the time the pandemic restrictions were eased, the school year had ended. Their language tutor had retired and there was no replacement. When our sponsorship period ended October 10 of this year, Saleh could still not function in English and his job prospects were dim. He has since started a probationary employment at Coltec Doors and Windows in Debert and he seems to be doing quite well, but their financial situation is still uncertain. Our committee members continue to provide moral support by babysitting, helping them negotiate the bureaucracies and enrolling them in social support programs. But we also like to help them financially. Maria has been suffering from painful dental problems and needs several thousand dollars worth of treatment. And they have to repay a loan of more than $9,000 to the Government of Canada for transportation from Jordan. Our committee would like to smooth the transit transition to independence by helping with these expenses. We are asking for donations to pay for dental care and to ease their debt load. Hello, I'm Reverend Shannon McLean. 
And let us continue our worship today by acknowledging that we are in the Peace and Friendship Treaties territory. The land on which we gather, live, and worship is the traditional territory of the Mi'kmaq and the Wabanaki Confederacy people. May we live with respect on this land and in peace and friendship with its people. And now please join me in our call to worship. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who had a terrible day. She left her lunch home, she skinned her knee on the playground, and no one wanted to sit with her on the bus. As she sank into her mother's arms at the end of the day, her mother asked, honey, what was the best part of your day? And the little girl cried and said, nothing, the entire day was terrible. So the mother got down on one knee, wiped her tears away, and said, there's always something good. Sometimes we just really have to look for it. The little girl looked up at her mom and said, what is good about today? And the mother said, for starters, you're here in my arms. Friends, anytime we gather together to worship God, we are here in the arms of God. So may we recognize that gift, and in doing so, may we sow joy. Let us worship our holy God. Please join me in our opening prayer. For the mothers who are ready to tear oppressors from their thrones so that their children may live and love. For the fathers that stand beside them to offer strength and support. Alleluia, God. May the joy that we feel in your presence fill us with life abundant so that, when the time is right, joy can be birthed new into your creation. Alleluia. 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 Amen. Because of COVID-19 restrictions, there are over 130 individual scenes in this play. Many more, if you count those which were recorded several times. But with the magic of the camera, we hope to be able to offer you a special Christmas message. Luckily, we had families and family friends who were in the same bubbles, so that made it a bit easier, and we practiced mostly outside. We were at the new Fundy Discovery Site, at the Acadian School, in Civic Square, in the woods, 
on a farm and as you'll soon see, in several other locations. I would like to thank Joanna Burris for being an awesome director, Jude Moffat for being so willing to help out with just about anything, Julian Kreisen for his part in the filming and editing, our amazing, talented Spirit Quest students, their very accommodating parents, those super congregation members who shared their woods and their farm, a lovely couple who are our benefactors, and St. Andrews for its continued support. You'll see everyone's names in the credits, and they were all important. So, without any further ado, I am thrilled to announce our 2020 Christmas musical, Here Comes Spirit Quest. In a house we may be familiar with. I wonder what we're doing for the church musical this year. Last year's was so much fun. Yeah, I got to play Joe Sabbath, the town officer. And I was really good too. What great casting. Whatever. This COVID-19 is really messing up my life. Masks everywhere, my hands are raw from washing and sanitizing, and keeping in a bubble is really hard. What are you guys talking about? The Spirit Quest musical, we're not allowed to actually sing at church or a school. How can we ha even have a musical anyways? I'm sure Joanna will come up with something. I hope we get to rehearse in the chapel though. It's so pretty in there. And cold. I had to keep my coat on. A lot. Do you remember when Evan sang Arrestee's Merry Gentleman? He had the moves even before we choreographed it. If we can do a musical during COVID, I'm in. In another house we may be familiar with. Mom just said that there is going to be a Spirit Quest musical this year. I wonder what kind of sets we'll be making. It's going to be so hard to top the town of Bethlehem in last year's production. It looks so good. Everybody said so, too. Well, I want a lead role, or at least one with a cool costume. Maybe like Katniss Everdeen, or Supergirl, or maybe even a cool animal. Actually, why don't we use Athena? I like camels and all, but a real animal would be amazing. I have my hammer and paint. I don't need a costume costume, I need something to build. Actually, all we need is just Christmas skits, jokes, and to go camping. I'd help out with that. Really? Another house? Okay, if you say so. Outdoors, you say? Well, I can do outdoors. A trumpet, you say? But only five notes. I can do trumpet. Learning to be lost? Yep, I'm all over that. Hard landing lines? Songs of my room now? No little brother pestering me? I'm in. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. You've got to be kidding me. Another house? Whose is it this time? Okay, fine. I'll be quiet. You always get the funny part. I was the funny part this year. You were actually kind of funny last year. I was, wasn't I? Well, what can I do this year? Play Jingle Bells on my violin? You have seen my YouTube channel, haven't you? Right. That. Well, I'm going to see if I can do a few magic tricks. Like a rabbit in a hat? No, with sleight of hand. That doesn't sound like your magic. That sounds like you're cheating in a card game. Do you want me to make you disappear? Um, no. I'll do that myself. Bye! Oh, come on! We're going to another house? I just feel like I'm being dragged around town. I have things I could be doing right now, you know? Okay, okay. I'll introduce it. Yeah, another house. Oh, wait. I think they have chickens! It's been a while since we were involved in one Sunday. Remember that time I had to dress up in an old-fashioned dress? And we told people about the story of one Sunday? 
so that all the kids in our area would have nice gifts and wonderful meals. No. Well, you were there and it happened. There was this emperor that everyone loved. So each year at Christmas, people would wrap gifts in white, so each gift would be equal and appreciated. Must be asleep. You weren't asleep. And then in 1904 or something, a Presbyterian minister's wife scolded her little girls for, for complaining about a gift a poor girl gave them. So she told them the story about the emperor. And from then on, people in North America have wrapped their gifts in white. So each gift is equal. Sounds boring. Would have been better if the emperor was a penguin. What's going on? Well, I want to be in the musical for White Gift Sunday. But Alex here doesn't. Cool. I want to be in it too. He doesn't have to though. We need an audience. Who said I didn't want to be in the musical? Finally. And now, Spear Quest proudly presents Dun 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 Dun. A COVID 19 Christmas musical with social distancing and face masks and clean hands and being outdoors with a few songs and a story served on the side. Or CCMS DF MCHBOSS. Or Right. I am unhappy and dull. No, not dull. That means boring and not smart, doesn't it? I am unhappy, tired, and unhappy of this walkathon. Stop your singing. And those aren't even the right words. Josh, would you like a snack? I have three packaged chocolate brownies. I know it's not environmentally friendly, but it's COVID friendly. Did somebody say brownie? Company, halt. I believe Mary offered me a snack, Peter. There are snacks for everyone. Thank you. How far have we gone now? I could go all night. This is so invigorating. I can't wait to write about it in my journal when I get home. I can hardly wait to forget about it in my sleep. Say, don't you want your brownie? Can I have it? Please, what about please? I am please. Josh, Sarah wanted you to say please when you asked for her brownie. It is polite. My new iPhone 12 mini says that we, are, we have traveled 12 kilometers and we have eight left. We are averaging 2.9 kilometers per hour. So at this rate, we will be done in two hours and 45.6 minutes, if we maintain our speed. Nearly three more hours. It's nearly dark, guys. Don't forget we're going to have a campfire for supper. We all brought flashlights and spares. Hey, hey Billy, Billy, we've, we've got, got some Christmas, Christmas riddles. riddles. What did Mrs. Claus say to Santa Claus when he looked up in the sky? I don't know. What? It looks like rain, dear. Oh. Oh. Well, I always laugh at our riddles in church. Why did the elf want to sleep in the fireplace? I don't know. Why? Because he wanted to sleep like a log. Oh. Oh. Ha, 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 that's so funny. And I have a skit. It needs twins in it. <laughs> Let's gather some reeds for our campfire. Wait, wait, we, we have, have more.
more riddles. What is the cleanest reindeer called? I don't know. What? Comet. <laughs> <laughs> which of Santa's reindeer is has bad manners? I don't know. Which? Rudolph. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. How is the snow globe feeling? I don't know. How? A little shaken. <laughs> <laughs> How do you scare a snowman? I don't know. How? With a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's starting to snow. <laughs> Well, it is December. Christmas is in a few days. Oh, it's so pretty. This ground is covered already. Oh, it's so nice to be inside for the first snowfall of the year. I'm so ready for Christmas break. Even though I'm doing a lot less because of COVID, I'm finding I'm even more tired. The fire is out. I spread the ashes around and poured the last of my water on to make sure. Right, we'd better get going. Die. That was beautiful. I can't believe you know all the words. What else do you know? Well, we can't sing in school this year, but we've been listening to Christmas music while we work. Some of us know it's the most wonderful time of the year. We can try it if you want. That would be lovely. It's the most wonderful time of the year.
did I forget that home that is? Oh dear, my new Apple iPhone 12 mini isn't getting any reception. What's going on? Not to worry everyone. There are lots of spots where the reception is limited. We'll keep moving. It'll be back soon. Isn't this a lovely night? Why not use your phones for flashlights? Mary, I'm a little worried. We're supposed to meet our minibus at 9 o'clock and it's 8.30 now. And we don't really know where we are. There must be at least 12 centimeters of snow on the ground. And that scenic path we took before the campfire must have disappeared. Do we know if we're going in the right direction? Look, I can see the sky ahead. There must be a clearing up there. Hey everybody, see all that sky? Let's head towards it and find the North Star. We'll be like the Nova Scotian fishermen or the explorers of old. We'll be like the Mi'kmaq. I bet they traveled under the sky. I bet they stopped before it got dark. Josh, what's going on? Nothing. Do you want to talk about it? No. Oh look, that bright one over there is Venus. So let me turn this way. Over there, that one must be the North Star. Well, we need to go north. Follow the star. Distancing, of course. Christy, Misty, we need another riddle. Sure, Mary, you can have two. Why do mummies like Christmas so much? I don't know. Why? They like all the wrapping. <laughs> 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 Why was Santa's helper so depressed on Christmas? I don't know. Why? Because he had low elf esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, just to add to that, we may be a little bit lost, but we'll soon have cell service and just call our mini bus driver. You mean my dad? Yeah, Jonathan. Oh, Mary, I think I see light over there. It's not a star, but we could go see what it is. Good night, Vision Olivia. Let's go, team. We got our distance in, we ate supper, and we're all together. Don't forget we're out here to help the Christmas Index. Let the adventure continue. Like we need a cheerleader. Excuse me, we are a bit lost and need to use a phone. No! Go away! No, no! We can't help you! Sorry to bother you, but we are lost and Leave! We, we can't help you here! Go! Just go! Go! Go away!
Oh, you poor souls. We don't have any room in our house, but when the power comes back, we will call your ride for you. You are more than welcome to wait in our barn. It's warm over there. I hope I don't fall asleep writing my journal when I get home. I have so much to tell. Oh, brother, you want to remember this? Yeah, it's been fun though. If we do it again, I want us to tell scary stories. Casey and I were listening for bears and coyotes in the woods. We saw a rabbit and two squirrels. But wouldn't it have been so much more fun to be chased by a cat pack of coyotes? Or a hungry bear? You know, I was hoping for zombies. You know, arms out, gray skin, tongues of mine. But this is cool too. Maybe a coyote will get in and steal a sheep. Maybe a zombie disguised as a coyote will get in and hurt all the sheep away and then turn all them all into zombies and then come back. And when Cynthia goes to feed her sheep tomorrow, then they'll devour her and her dog and... No, Casey, that's not how zombies do it. They... We don't think that's a very good thing to talk about at Christmas. Mary, should we tell more jokes? You know... This reminds me of something. A long walk. At night, following a star. People not letting us in for shelter. Ending up in a stable here with the sheep. What are y'all looking at? Can't someone be grumpy and feel things too? Before you go thinking I'm all soft and sentimental, this is my grandmother's doing. She gave me this book when I was eight years old. It was her last Christmas. I keep it in my backpack this time of year. Remember Jenny? Remember Nana? Yeah, I was 10. I still remember her. I didn't know the book meant so much to you though. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone in his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the, the, the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that, while they were there, she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. But unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe left in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they had heard it, and wondered at those things which were t told them by the shepherd. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them.
beautiful. Just what I needed tonight. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I just got hold of your dad, Darcy. He'll be here in five minutes. Thanks. Do we have time for another song? Will you sing Away in a Manger with me? I just feel like that's the song for this moment. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the ever. Maybe I'll even get published. to say it was so wonderful i'm just thrilled so thrilled thank you thank you again everyone let us pray oh god on this advent day of joy we thank you for the sparkles of joy in our lives we thank you for the bright faces of children and their timely messages we thank you that we can gather together today even if it is virtually but we need more mornings like this bless everyone this advent and may we remember those who need us, whether with our time, our talents, our donations, our baking, our sewing, our support, or our marching for change on their behalf. As we focus on the baby Jesus, we also remember the adult Jesus who taught us the way to live. Let us now pray together the prayer he taught us. Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Our church building may be closed, our service may be virtual, but we at St. Andrews are still living in God's way. Our corner of the world on Duke and King Streets is still singing and speaking and spreading the message of hope and peace and joy and love in this December world. And we are still helping others in our church with our talents and our financial contributions and our white gifts. Many here are on pre-authorized remittance. Others are welcome to mail in their offering or to drop it off in the King Street mailbox as you are able to continue the work of Jesus Christ in this place. Let us pray. O oh God, accept what we are able to offer. In your name we pray, amen. Yeah.
this third Advent Sunday, may God bless you with a heart open to the joy of children's voices, to the hope in the Christmas story, and to the peace that this season can bring. Go now into your week, refreshed, joyous, and ready to welcome the hope of the world. Amen.